Stephen Coolboy Fulton, Monster Inui, I can't wait for that fight. I can't wait. I'm still standing behind my prediction that I made months ago about this fight. I think Stephen Coolboy Fulton is going to beat Inui in a dominant fashion. It's not going to be easy, but I think he's going to get into a rhythm, a rhythm that 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 Monster Inui has never seen before. And I know what you I know some of you guys know exactly what I'm talking about. I think somebody said it best when Taylor Plant fought Canelo Alvarez. I think it was Showbiz. Or no, better yet, it was Bruce Vane. Bruce Vane said it best when Taylor Plant fought Canelo. Bruce Vane said, I could be wrong. I don't know if it was Bruce Vane. I don't know if it was Showbiz. One of the two, but e either or one of them said that Caleb Plant. Caleb Plant's last last opponent before fighting Canelo Alvarez did not prepare him for Canelo Alvarez, and I understood what I understood what this person meant when he said that. Looking at Monster Inouye's last five opponents, neither of those opponents prepared him for a fighter like a Stephen Fulton. Now Stephen Fulton being from the states and fighting here in the states, every opponent that Stephen Fulton fought from the pros all the way in the amateurs have all prepared him for a fighter like Monster Inouye. That's the difference. That is something that a lot of you guys are failing to pay attention to. I'm not saying this because Stephen Fulton is black American, but him being black American traveling over to Japan to fight Monster Inouye is one of the reasons why I'll be rooting for him. Let's not get shit twisted. Just like every single Japanese person that will be attending that fight We'll be rooting for Monster Renewal because Monster Renewal is Japanese. So don't don't vilify me because I'm rooting for Stephen Fulton because he's African American. When you guys know that you and all the Japanese people will be rooting against Stephen Fulton because he's African American. Okay? So don't 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 come on here trying to shame me because I'll be rooting for Stephen Fulton for being black. Because you'll be rooting against him because he's black. OK, so let's not let's not sit here and vilify me for speaking the truth. All right. But I think Stephen Fulton is going to win this fight because he's more prepared for this fight. Monster Inouye hasn't fought anybody that will prepare him for a Stephen Fulton. Sure, you guys can sprinkle in a, a Donaire, but Donaire is not enough for him to be prepared for someone like a Stephen Fulton. Stephen Fulton is an athlete. And we all know when it comes to boxing in America, some say damn it, the best fighters come from Philadelphia. That ain't no lie. And so I'm not saying that Monster Renew doesn't have a chance. I mean, every fighter with power has a puncher's chance. I just don't think that he has properly prepared himself. I don't think that his opponents that he's been fighting has properly prepared him to face someone like a Stephen Corboy Fulton. And Monster Inouye's team, I don't think um, Inouye's team is properly preparing him for Stephen Fulton. He's preparing for Fulton in Japan. There's no sparring partners in Japan that are even close to being as on the level of a Stephen Fulton or even good enough to mimic a Stephen Fulton. You know, there's a scene in one of the Rocky movies where Rocky Balboa left his uh, left his city to go train in LA to prepare for cover lane. And I know what you guys are going to say. Well, John Boxing, you're still right. No, I'm not. They didn't put that scene in that movie for no reason. All right. There is a reason why they put that scene in the movie. Okay. Because this is a reality. This is the reality of the sport. Rocky Balboa went to go train in LA. He trained with black fighters and he trained with black fighters for a reason because he was fighting cover lane. And he needed he needed something. He needed more than just what he had to beat a cover lane. So what he picked up with training with black fighters was speed, athleticism and being able to get in the rhythm. He was lighter on his feet. He was quicker and he was slimmer. That's what he picked up when training with black fighters. Monster Inouye is in Japan. There's a there's a look. I'm going to keep it honest with you guys. When it comes to Japan, Japan and America, there's a huge gap. When it comes to athleticism, there's a huge gap. A huge gap. Black Americans 
in my opinion, are more athletic than Japanese people or Japanese fighters. That's just the reality of the situation. And Monster Inui and his team, well, Monster Inui's team is having him spar with other Japanese fighters, not black American fighters. So that alone is one of the reasons why Stephen Fulton is going to win this fight. And I know, I know some of you guys are going to get mad at me and say, John Boxing, you just think black Americans, all this. No, I wasn't born yesterday. I've been, I've been on this earth for 38 years. I've seen what African Americans can do in comparison to others. I mean, look at sports. Look at the, look at the, the physical sports. Who's dominating the physical sports? When you go to track and fields, who, who's usually the fastest one on the track? When you look at the NBA, Who's usually the most athletic and on the football field? Come on, people on the football field. You got guys that are running. I mean, you, you got guys on the football field with pads and a heavy helmet that is still running 23 miles per hour. Derrick Henry is 240 pounds, a running back running 23 miles per hour. That's insane. So, no, I'm not basing my opinion off of my feelings. I'm basing my opinions based on what I've been seeing for 38 years of my life. Even in boxing, what fighter are the ones that usually have the quickest hands, the quickest feet, the most athletic? That's what I'm basing my opinion off of. Monster Inouye is not surrounded by people that can match him. He's not. He's not surrounded by people that can make him a better fighter. This is why, this is why when it comes to boxing, America are the, are the ones that are usually dominate the sport of boxing because of these fighters' surroundings. These guys, these fighters in America, they make each other better because of it being so much competition in America. Monster Inui doesn't have that. He's the, he, he, there's only a few boxers in Japan that are decent. A few. You can count them on one hand. In America, I mean, Jesus, I mean, there's a lot. There's a lot of uh, uh, black American fighters, Latin American fighters that are world class. And this is why I am picking Stephen Fulton to win this fight, because he is properly being prepared for someone like Monster Inui. Meanwhile, Monster Inui is not prepared for someone like a Stephen Fulton. And you're going to see the difference. You're going to see the difference. Stephen Fulton is the bigger fighter. He's fought better opposition. He's not undefeated for a reason. And a lot of you guys will say, well, he lost to uh, Figueroa. That's your opinion. The judges saw it different. And we're talking about a guy that did not have to fight Figueroa that way. He could have easily outboxed Figueroa, but that goes to show you that this man is a is a versatile fighter. He can fight an opponent's fight, and he can also fight his fight. We have never seen Monster Inui, you know, overcome adversity. Well, he did some somewhat against No No Nito Donaire, but still, we're talking about a thirty nine year old No Nito Donaire. A 39-year-old Onito Donaire was able to give Monster Inouye uh, one hell of a fight in their first fight. We're talking about a prime Stephen Fulton. A bigger prime Stephen Fulton. A slick boxer in Stephen Fulton. A, a, a boxer that that's that's always competing whenever he's prepping for a fight. Monster Inouye's not competing in his preparation for the Stephen Fulton fight because everybody that he's spawned against, he's better than. He's better than everybody that he's spawned against because he's training in Japan. Although this is a great fight for the sport of boxing and fans, this fight does not benefit Stephen Fulton at all. It's not. It's not going to benefit him. This fight is for Inouye. This fight is going to benefit Inouye Win or lose. It, it's look, a lot of you guys, you, you're 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 living in delusion. Okay? I'm living in the reality. I've I've seen this happen in the sport of boxing, I don't know how many times. Let's just face the fact. When it comes to African American fighters, 
their accomplishments are always stripped from them because of them being African-American. Javante Davis, let's take him for example. Let's take Javante Davis versus Ryan for example. That fight was in the making for how many years? Three and a half, four, maybe. It wasn't considered the biggest fight in boxing for a reason. A lot of people pick Ryan Garcia to beat Javante Davis for a reason. Some were picking Javante Davis to beat Ryan, but this was a 50-50 fight on paper. You didn't have Paulo Alonaji picking against Javante for no reason. You didn't have Manny Pacquiao picking against Javante Davis for no reason. People were legitimately picking against Javante Davis because they thought that Ryan Garcia was going to beat Javante Davis. Oscar De La Hoya, Bernard Hopkins, they thought that Ryan Garcia was going to beat Javante Davis. And we all know competitive fights like this, 50-50 fights like this, are the fights that usually sells. Danger sells. Okay? But when Javante Davis won the fight, and this is the fight that everyone wanted him to take, he got no credit for it. People double back by telling the truth, the truth that I told about Ryan Garcia a year ago. And the only reason why people that were picking against Javante started to tell that truth is due to the fact that they didn't want to have to give Javante any respects. I said before this fight was signed, sealed, and delivered that Ryan Garcia built his name off a clout chasing offer of Javante Davis, a guy that's never fought anybody. But I got I, I got a lot of backlash because people were so uh, invested in Ryan because they thought Ryan was going to be the guy to beat Javante Davis. They went as far as talking about Luke Campbell being a better fighter than everybody that Javante Davis faced. These fans, they, 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 they constantly pulled up Luke Campbell. Ryan Garcia beating Luke Campbell is going to be the reason why they felt that Ryan was going to beat Javante Davis. And we saw the reactions after the fact. A lot of fans are not even crediting Javante Davis for his win over Ryan Garcia. The same Ryan Garcia that half of the world thought was going to beat him. So in this case with Fulton in a new way, Fulton's not going to get any credit. He's not. This is just another fight for him. It's not a significant fight. On paper, it is. When he comes back to the States, he's not going to be celebrated. He's actually going to get a lot of disrespect because that's usually the case when the African-American fighters win fights that they're not supposed to win.